Welcome back to the AJ Show, a show where a guy with too much free time, or not enough depending on when you ask, complains about all of your favorite shows, and here's our host, AJ Universe. Thank you, thank you very much everybody. I can see we've got a fantastic audience today. Since it is sort of my job to ruin all of your favorite shows, today I want to talk about one of the latest episodes of Star vs. the Force of Evil. Overall a really great show, but it has a lot of problems that I'm going to complain about way more than I probably need to. The episode we're looking at today is The Ponyhead Show. Hey, an episode after my own heart. In this episode, Star takes Eclipsa on the first episode of Ponyhead's new talk slash variety show in order to try to get the population of Muni to understand her a little better. And while that's not a terrible idea, I do have some problems with it. Though the episode is saved by the hilarious antics of Ponyhead herself, which just barely managed not to become cringy, and also what seems to be a blooming romance subplot in the background between Marco and Kelly. This episode was packed full of Star vs. trademark humor, and like many other episodes this season, did a fantastic job of tackling both A and B plots, which were technically happening at the same time, and even a lot of the time in the same place. Ponyhead was of course annoying, in that endearing kind of way that she tends to be annoying, and Eclipsa got a song number towards the end of the episode that was pretty good. Jokes that I particularly loved in this episode were when Marco accidentally crushed Kelly's soul by revealing to her the common misconception that professional wrestling is fake. I don't know where anybody got that from. And just everything that the seahorse guy did. Everything that he did and or said throughout this entire episode was comedy gold. However, I do take issue with this approach towards endearing, I guess would be the right term, endearing Eclipsa to the people of Muni. It's mentioned in this episode that she didn't even address her people after taking the throne. That this would be the first time that she went about doing that. And I think this is just another mistake to add to the huge pile of mistakes that the show keeps showing us and telling us that Eclipsa has made. And while her song was certainly heartfelt and was definitely an accurate description of her situation, I don't really see how it could appease the people of Muni. Not considering all that they've been going through lately. To remind you of what's been going on, the people of Muni have been having their land taken from them with nowhere for them to go instead and given back to monsters who they still see as an other. Whether they should or not, that is the reality of the situation, unfortunately. And Eclipsa hasn't been doing anything to make it easier for them. Singing a song about how difficult it was to be thrust into her position and all of the sorrow that she's going through that she's having to work through in order to do her job, I don't see how that's going to help them feel more secure in her abilities or convince them that she's eventually going to give them the help that they require. It really does seem like it would have been a whole lot easier just to use a connection to the mirror phones or to use some form of magic to address all of the people of Muni at once and explain the situation to them and promise to give them the help that they want, that they need. And yet that doesn't seem to have crossed Eclipse's mind. Still, I do still believe that this is all on purpose that we are supposed to see Star and Eclipsa as flawed characters doing their best. And as I mentioned, I thought the comedy in this episode was on point. Like seriously, I heard some people saying that this episode was just terrible. But I liked it, yeah, quite a lot. And it's not as if Eclipsa didn't reach anyone. A lot of people were angry about being forced to watch the Ponyhead show in the first place, which I will admit, I would be right there with them in universe. But we do see that Eclipse's song did reach at least some people. One person responded positively to it, and everybody did seem to watch it as it was going on. Maybe hearing of Eclipse's struggles will turn some people at least partway to her side and pave the way for her making a true connection with her people. As per usual, though, I'd like to know what do you guys think of this episode. Let's get a discussion going in the comments section down below or over my Discord. Link in the description. And I just have to say, you have been a tremendous audience for today's show.
just the best. This has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.